Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Comfort and Joy with Lady Curry. So we are living the cozy and comfy life. We are in the kitchen. And today, we are going to make a nice, warm, gooey, gooey dish that I requested because it's fall and I have all the fall fills. That's the hubby in the back getting the trash together. But anyway, I have all the fall fills and I wanted a dish that was substantial and satisfying and I asked the hubby to make me some goulash. Now that's a German dish for those of you who may not know. I believe it originated from Germany and the original dish calls for beef chunks. However, in America, we have Americanized it and we normally and typically use ground beef. So we're going to be in the kitchen and we're gonna invite you guys to do some cooking with the curries, fall edition. Welcome to my 31 days of fall series. And this is cooking with the curries. So we're cleaning and clearing the decks and we're gonna jump right in. All right, so we are in the process of getting all of our ingredients together. We are using green bell pepper, red bell pepper, yellow onion. He chose for yeah, Francesco Rinaldi meat flavor. I think that I wish you would have got the rest of the plan. Okay. Diced tomatoes. I'm gonna wash that clean off of it. Looks suspect. And then we also have our ground beef that we're gonna brown up and season and brown up. our ingredients minus the seasonings and the cheese that we're going to throw in to give it that ooey gooey ooey gooey effect hey guys welcome back so we are starting to um cook we're in the kitchen with the curries cooking with the curries and i'm going to be the hubby sous chef i guess <laughs> or should i just be behind the camera <laughs> it's fine with me.
put that similar so they can all blend together. So we gotta simplify a little bit. to make paste too. Mm -hmm. That's good. And what did you say? Um, we we off camera did not show. Adding. We added sugar, sugar and butter. and butter. Not a lot of sugar, just enough to help the bitter kick out the bitter. Okay, so got and the butter acidity. to give it down home taste. Mm -hmm. Right. So is it done at this point? It just no. has to no, it has marinate to, and, yes, and marry the flavors. Yeah, we're gonna put some cheese in it. Mm -hmm. Ready, green it. Oh, can't forget, forget the cheese. It's already grated, so we'll just break it up in there. No, I need to grate it. Oh, you want to grate it because it's frozen? Yeah. You can take a fork and break it apart. Ooh, I can't wait, guys. I wish you guys could smell what I'm smelling. He just makes better spaghetti, I think, in my opinion. Mine is more savory. His is savory and sweet at the same time. It's just really good. Mm -hmm. Yes. Get it all in. And normally he would use... Um, pecorino romano or um, parmesan but we did not have any blocks on hand or the pre-grated um, parmesan so we are improvising with a um, like a Kobe jack or I think this is either cheddar cheddar blend or something but it's still going to taste phenomenal no is that more Mm -hmm. For your own personal taste, but you want to see the sticky side so sticking. Mm -hmm. You like it sticky. Mm -hmm. That's the cheese. Yes. Hold it all together. And I think this will be the little lady's first go at American goulash. <laughs>
so good. This is the perfect fall dish. So satisfying. Mm. Yum. Oh. Mm. Enjoy, guys.